Hey, what's up guys? Martin here. It is Sunday, August 18th, 2024, as we continue to monitor the situation here in the Reaganist Peninsula in Iceland. Let's check out some uh, some of the earthquake activity as we check out this 12-hour uh, time range where we start seeing now a lot more tremors uh, earthquakes a little bit more north of uh, Grandavik now and between Thorbjorn, Silingerfell, Hagafell, uh, Power Plant and up here by uh, Stora Skogfell which is still um, it's still the most uh, active area between Silingerfell and Stora Skogfell um, last night there wasn't too much activity, but then it started picking up again. As we see, uh, one here that reached almost 3 magnitude, 2.5 magnitude, uh, but at 5.6 uh, kilometers in depth. And then we see one here at uh, 1 magnitude at 5 kilometers. Um, and then all the ones around it here, also around 5 kilometers in depth but just under one magnitude so the majority are pretty much under under one magnitude so that's kind of still the same pattern uh throughout the days this this uh this pattern of, of earthquakes um i would say uh any earthquake around the grandavik area kind of shift be between like uh, some in the south some in the north so it goes like up and down but this particular area between Selingerfell and Sorskogfell is just a normal, always in the same area, uh, same shallowness and um, some upticks of uh, magnitude. So still pretty much the same as far as the earthquake activity. Um, but there is also a new um, update uh, regarding uh, the Met Office that was published uh, on the 16th um, and it just shows a graph of the GPS of the Svarsingi GPS station showing the the uh, the upwards land of movement as we see here the uh, north upwards uh, motion uh, since uh, going back to November or first of December and then the red line showing when it erupted so this just kind of shows the north um movement of the of the land and then all the lines are the eruptions um this is in uh, millimeters so then uh, then you also have the east and west um gps and as you can see here it's uh, going into the uh, negative which i believe are going into it's going northwest and then all the lines when it erupted and then the upwards motion um which you could see how it um uh, it starts off in december and every eruption had this um in in a massive massive uh, vertical uh upwards motion and now we're here we're in this area here uh june the last line where when it erup erupted uh, may 29th and then after the eruption it went back down it deflated um, and then the magma chamber started filling up again and then the land started rising and rising and rising and rising but again we have much more magma in the chamber so um, as you can see here it's almost the same um, length um, of, of the eruption in May so I think it just needs a little bit more because of the, the the size of the chamber until until the eruption happens but now it's uh down to the the last stretch because um, now it's basically uh, anytime uh, anytime uh, this thing uh, will open up uh, but again it's 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 very similar I would say it's a little bit more as you can see in the rise before the eruption in May May 29th it's pretty much even it's a, it might be a little bit more because it's pushing the chamber as we as we now see that um, it does have uh, reached the, the limit from last month uh, as far as the limit in the chamber so now we're past that um, so here the volume of magma under Svarzingi is estimated to be more than before the last eruption on May 29th so that's why we're seeing this extension 
and the rise. Um, so, um, so I think it's there. It's almost there. Uh, it's a little bit more, as you can see, but um, I think it's going to be maybe a few more days, and then and then it's going to reach that limit again because of the expansion. Uh, but again, it could be any time as well. Um, any time it could be today, and it could be or it could be tomorrow. So I'll leave this uh, direct link. You can check it out, uh, as well as the earthquake map, and um, we'll continue to monitor the situation.